Hi, it's Sprig Barton, and welcome to a, a very important food art. How often have you needed to carve your name in a cucumber? Well, this is how you do it. Just think of all those times when you have parties and you want everyone to have a personalized salad. This is what you should do. Carve their name in a cucumber. Yeah, could you imagine that? Eight people seated around the table. Where do I sit? Where do I sit? Oh, look. Oh, yeah, there's my name. It's in a cucumber. Oh, wow, that's just fantastic. Well, yes. So basically, I carved a rectangle after making the cucumber kind of flat so I could work with it. I carved a rectangle that would fit my name. And then I carved lovely little rectangles for each letter. And here now I'm working on the S. These are kind of cartoony letters. I'm sure if I took my time I could get it a lot more precise. But this is fine for now. Yes, a sprig. Sprig starts with S. Oh, let's go for the P. Let's make a P in the cucumber. A P is easier than an S, isn't it? An R is like a P, but with a hanging out bit in the bottom. Yes. See, if I can do this, you can do this. You probably are really excited about this idea, and I'll just make sure you have a cucumber on hand so you can get one ready for dinner. Hmm. S P R I G. You can do it. Ooh, looking good. Just about done there, isn't it? Hey, let's make it a bit fancier. Yeah, I'm going to give it a sawtooth pattern across the top. So it looks like cartoon hair. This will only take a minute. In the meantime, what can we talk about? Oh yeah, all these little bits of cucumber. You can toss them away or you can eat them right now and feel like you've had your greens for the day. Actually, my dog liked uh, cucumber as a treat. Oh, and there it is, all finished, looking very spriggish. So since you enjoyed this video so much, why not click to subscribe or to watch another video? Thanks for watching.